morning boys and girls it's miss belinda and i am sitting here in our fourth to sixth grade classroom here at st thomas's in newark delaware welcome to our sunday school lesson for this morning the lord be with you and also with you we gather in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, it is the fifth Sunday of the Easter season. And I have a special story. We're going to talk about the, we're going to tell the story of the Good Shepherd and the Royal Communion this morning. I'm going to put the candle to the side, because you know we want to be safe. So, let's see our Getting Ready song. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. So when we sing that song, it's time to get ready. So our eyes are watching, our ears are listening, hands and feet tuck close in, There once was someone who did such wonderful things and said such amazing things that people followed him. And when, one day when they followed him, they just couldn't help it. They asked who he was. He said, I am the good shepherd. I know each one of my sheep by name, and they know the sound of my voice. When I take the sheep from the sheepfold, they follow me. I will walk in front of the sheep to show them the way. I will show them the good green grass.
This is the table of the Good Shepherd. Here is the bread and the wine of the Good Shepherd. Sometimes people think we might need something like a statue or a cross on the table. But the Good Shepherd is in the wine and the bread. So this is all that we need. Sometimes someone comes to read the very words of the Good Shepherd or to give us the bread and the wine. Sometimes the people of the world come to the table. And even the children come. Now, I wonder if you have ever come to this table. I wonder where this table could really be. I wonder if the people are happy around this table. I wonder if you have ever heard the words of the Good Shepherd. I wonder if you have ever come close to the bread and the wine.
I wonder where the bread and the wine could really be. I wonder where this whole place our story. Let's pray together. Did you know it's Mother's Day today? Let's um, let's say our children's creed and then we'll say our Lord's Prayer and then let's pray for all the mothers and fathers and the people that take care of us. I'll start. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I believe in God above. I believe in Jesus' love. I believe his spirit too comes to show us what to do. I believe that I can be kind and loving, Lord, like thee. Good job. Now let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, Let's pray for all those people in our lives that take good care of us. I'll start. Lord Jesus, we come to you today and we thank you so much for all the blessings that you've given us in our lives, especially those people who take care of us, our moms and our dads, our aunts and uncles, and Grandparents, our big sisters and big brothers, our friends, I especially thank you for my mom and my godmother, Treadwell. I thank you for my friends who are moms, Julie, Brandy, Lisa, Kelly, Madeline, Kena. Karen, Deanna, thank you. All the people who are good caretakers and who I can't name all of them, but they know who they are. And I love them so much. I thank you, Lord, for giving me the gift of my children and for giving me the gift of the children at St. Thomas's. I thank you for all the families of St. Thomas. Why don't you tell everyone who you'd like to pray for today? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. So. As I said, today is Mother's Day, and we can't be here together to do our response, so hopefully you'll find something fun to do with your families. But let me show you what my family and I did together last night. It's kind of a reminder of this Mother's Day, but also a reminder 
of this time that we're spending together while we're sheltering in place. Here it is. When the world needed to stay apart, together was our favorite place to be. You can make this with your family if you want. I sent a picture to your to your moms and dads on, on email. But we use puppy paint here, and then I printed the words on a computer. But you could use markers or crayons or puppy paint here if you wanted to for your words. Whatever you and your family want to do. But I just show you that. It is time to say goodbye. So let's change the candle. Change the light, I'm sorry. Let's change the light. But the light will be that was in one place can be in all places all around us. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may.